Hello YouTube, back with another video. This video is on my Mustang. Obviously, I haven't posted it in a bit, but uh, main thing about it is it's been having some trouble. Now, if you're having this trouble, well, stay tuned. Basically, let's just get right into it. <laughs> It'll be a short video, but we're gonna try to make it a short video. Um, when I do a long drive between 30 to 40 minutes, specifically when there's traffic going from work to home, obviously it gets warm, it's a lot of stop and go. Um, when I go back, when I get back home, about to park, I shove it in park. The idle shoots up almost double its normal amount, and it just it's like revving by itself. Um, it did that the first time, threw me off. Uh, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And then when I turn off the car, it doesn't do it anymore. It's normal. When I shove it to park. But um, the next time it happened was um, when I shoved it to park, coming back home, it went up to 1600 something RPMs, dropped back down to normal then shot itself back up to 2,000 RPMs. So, obviously idle is fluctuating really hard. Um, and it was revving by itself, basically. And I had no idea what it was. So, I would say there's about four fixes, or the main fix. There's two main fixes, I think. But there's four things I would try. Uh, first things first is vacuum leak. So, get a brake cleaner, turn on the car, preferably when it's not hot. Spray around the area to see if the idle changes, see if you have your vacuum leak. That's the simplest thing you can do, cheapest thing you can do, um, the ideal thing to do, check for vacuum leaks. Second thing would be clean out the throttle body and check the throttle body, see if we clean it out, see if it's dirty. And um, if that's not dirty um, or it seems fine, then you know, you got that out of the way. But I mean, throttle body cleaner is about eight to ten bucks, it's also pretty cheap. Um, third thing. Throttle position sensor. For me, a lot of people was like, oh, check the voltage, this and that. For me, just replace it. Um, I have a BBK on it because I used to have an old uh, BBK throttle body and I kept the throttle position sensor. Um, oh no, I sold, the, I sold the BBK throttle body actually to someone. But I told, but I kept the throttle position sensor, yeah. So that's a BBK one. That's a Motorcraft one. Motorcraft part number is DY967. Uh, put a new one there. When you're putting it on, um, make sure you angle this like when you put it on, put the bolts and just kind of angle it a little downwards because you angle it up. What happens is it kind of twists the throttle plate open and you know you turn on your car it'll be idling real high so make sure when you put that on it's like a, a, a slope make sure this is kind of facing downwards it's not completely like straight like this because again if you do you'll be idling at like a thousand plus rpms now the fourth thing which the thing is probably the fix is the idle air control right here two 10 millimeter bolts um, the new one should come with a gasket um, I got a standard one, part number AC170. Um, this is the the one inside here was a Motorcraft one about two years ago. Um, they don't sell the Motorcraft one anymore, as far as I know. They discontinued it completely. So what I'm gonna do is just keep this, just because you know I'm not sure if this is actually the problem, but I'm guessing that it probably was because it was carbon, I, it was carbon filled, and I cleaned it. But I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to replace it anyways because I'm not trying to deal with it. So, the main thing that fixes it, I replace both of those throttle position sensor and the idler control. And um, it fixed the problem. So, if you're having that problem, I'll do all four things. I will do it in, um, in a row. So, check for vacuum leaks, clean the throttle body, make sure it's good. And then, uh, throttle position sensor and idler control. So, those are the four things I would, I would say would... Um, cause this problem for you um, if you ever obviously encountered a problem that's probably more than likely what it is now obviously it could it could vary it could be something else it could be uh, uh, your fuel pressure regulators failing maybe it's doing that it's not you know keep, but it's only in park which is the weird the weird thing in drive it seems normal but you know um or something about the EGR, EGR, uh, the EGR is like failing. Um, uh, that's another one that I heard of. 
but uh, as far as my experience obviously because obviously right now I just got it fixed I literally just drove it home shoved it into park expecting it to shoot up and it didn't it's more than likely the idle air control got old got gunked up and it couldn't keep up with the changes or the throttle position sensor just pooped out I think it's one of those two um, it's it's mostly leaning to those two that caused that big of a problem so um, throttle position or idle air control but um, yeah so um, you have that problem give it a try leave a comment below see if that fixed the problem for you and uh, till next time